Now, before we do our second portion of knowing about points, lines, and planes, uh, there's a few things that we want to understand. Actually, two main important concepts that we really want to make sure that we understand. And that's read um, right here as collinear and coplanar. So let's say that again. We have collinear and we also have coplanar. And what this means right here is that when um, something is collinear, that means that you have points that are going to be on the same line. So let's look, for example, let's look at line L again. Remember, we could read it as line L this way or as line AB. And it's read as AB because we have two points that are on this line. So point A and point B are collinear because they actually share the same line. It's like if you guys were playing tug of war, um, the people on that would actually be collinear because they're sharing the same rope or they're sharing the same line. Now, if you had a spectator, um, let's say we had point C who was just watching it. So point C was just watching your game of tug of war, for example. They weren't sharing the rope, so they're not part of the actual game. So in geometry terms, they're not considered collinear. Just like right here, point A and point B are on the line, so they are collinear. Point C is not. So collinear, um, you want to remember, share the line. That's an easy way for us to remember. Okay, So collinear shares the line. Now what about coplanar? What's the difference between coplanar and collinear? Well, in geometry, things actually sound a lot harder than what they really are. Coplanar just means that they share the same plane. So again, if everyone was here in the sandbox at school playing point A, point B, point C, C joined them this time, right? They are all coplanar. Now, what if we have D, who got in trouble at school, so D is over here watching. If D is outside of the plane, D is not coplanar. The only ones that are coplanar are A, B, and C. So that's very important for us to remember. So remember, in coplanar, they share the plane. Now that we have those, let's go ahead and try some examples, and we can really understand this stuff on a more complex scale.